team? I think the major difference this year from last year is us having experience and knowing what to expect in the league. Um, other than that, you know, having built a little team camaraderie, the the club has gotten a little bit of, you know, advertising, and people are people know who DC United women are now. So, you know, hopefully we'll get some bigger crowds, and of course, getting some more talent onto the team as well. Uh, it's so fun to be back here. This is like my favorite field, um, definitely that I, I played on in the league. It's up there with best field that I played on, you know, personally, just because there's a lot of good memories, a lot of awesome fans that you just saw, and uh, so it was really fun to be back. You know, it's like I knew the, you know, grass really well, so it's fun. And the nets. And the nets, even though I didn't get one. Okay. <laughs> Awesome. Um, yeah. I always love coming back here. There's so much tradition and history here with the DC United and Freedom. Great fans. I love that we're two, um, you know, organizations that have been together for a long time. I think it's awesome. I love how much support, you know, both teams get and everybody here, you know, um, supporting Headers for Hope. So it's a great night and a great night for soccer. So I'm glad everybody came out tonight. I think once, once you travel the, the world as we've done, you feel very lucky to be an American, especially as a woman. Um, you have a lot of opportunities to play sports, and you have a lot of people that, that want to watch you play sports, and that's, that's very unique in terms of a global perspective. What's different about this organization compared to uh, places you played in Spain and England? Uh, you know, it's actually it's a bit similar because uh, they have the men's side that goes along with it, and I think that's very important is to have a, a men's brand and a men's uh, foundation and base to, to build the women's program off of. Uh, when I played for Espanol in Spain, there's obviously the, the men's club is very strong there. So <clears throat> they already have a lot of following that can just pick up um, and come to the women's game. Um, and so it's, you know, it's a, f a very family atmosphere um, and you have a much stronger connection uh, with the men's club and I think in terms of, uh, of the, big, the big picture, it's, it's better. They're going to be a good team in the W League, and you know I'm just glad that we were able to cross leagues over. It shows potential. Yeah. Nice to have two class organizations. Exactly, play it's yeah. profession, two professional organizations. Very much, you can tell just by you know walking in the locker room and how they treat you. <laughs> Yeah. I've been away from America and the United States for eight months. Um, as I was telling Kevin, I've been to England, Spain, India, back to Spain, and finally back in Washington, D.C. Uh, this is where I was born and raised. My mom was at the game tonight with my little niece, so uh, it means <clears throat> the world to me to be back here in D.C. and to play in front of my home fans and just feel like we're in a comfortable environment. Friday or something like that? Yeah, we got into JFK. Uh, we flew Kuwait Airlines. That was the cheapest Whoa. flight we could find <laughs> from London to JFK. Um, it was an interesting flight. Uh, the food was kind of spicy. But landed at JFK at around 6.30, uh, got picked up by one of our friends, and then drove about five hours to get down here, and we checked into our hotel around 1 o'clock in the morning. And so have you had any practice with this team before? No, tonight? today was our first day with the team. Got to meet the coaches and got to meet all the girls and learn all their names. Mm -hmm. But, you know, soccer soccer is soccer, right? No matter where you go. So um, it's, it's great to be here, and I think our teammates are fantastic. And I know a lot of them from growing up in this area and from playing with them um, in the small world of soccer. So it's... It was easy to get to know them right away. Are they fitting in? You know, I think they're going to fit in great. Of course, this is the first time they've been out here, so it was it was a little tough for us to, you know, all know where the next run was going to be or where we should be playing. Um, that'll come with time, but it was great having them out here. So I'm looking forward to playing with them. Had you guys. I mean, 
I love DC um, a lot. It's actually yeah, one of my favourite so, cities. Um, having visited it last year after living in Philly for two years, um, I like DC a lot, and uh, it feels great to be here. It kind of felt a little bit surreal when we landed in New York because um, it's, it feels like it's been a long time coming since we were going to be able to come back because we've been in Spain for six months. So it wasn't until I heard the national anthem that I was like, oh my God, we're actually in Washington, like we're here. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was unfortunate we couldn't get the win, but I think considering most of us haven't played with each other before, we flew in like the day before yesterday. We, this is the first time we met our teammates today, and I think we did well considering. Mm. It felt great to get back onto a big grass field and running around, but I was definitely tired. Um, the jet lag is, is starting to kick in on the lactic acid, but it felt really nice to put on the DC United uh, women's uniform and to come out here and play on this beautiful field that Germantown um, provides for us and really play against a great team. I mean, Boston's been playing together for probably months at this point, if not longer, because they have a lot of players from the WPS team. And so um, it was definitely a, a challenge tonight to keep up with them and to keep the score at 1-0. And you guys had a couple of chances. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, we had one or two, I would say, decent, really good, one really good chance, and the rest of them were more half chances. But um, it, could, it could have been 1-1, but I would say our goalkeepers played some, um, made some amazing saves tonight, so we were lucky to have them. Okay, New England. I think the difference between having played in Spain for six months is the intensity. Um, here is a lot quicker. I mean, in t there was times in games today where in Spain I would just be able to get past players um, very, very easily. Whereas here it's like you have to think quicker. The players are a lot quicker and stronger. Um, but I'm looking forward to the challenge again. Um, I think even though the WPS isn't around, I think being in America for me is the best place to be soccer-wise. Um, I've had a few opportunities to go back and play in England, but I personally prefer playing in America, even if that is in the W League. I mean, it's just great to play again. Play two 90-minute games in two days, three days. Um, I haven't done that in eight months. Um, felt great to be back out on the field. It was good to have the Australians out there. Um, I think we're connecting a little bit more, but you know, we know that we're still learning each other's tendencies and strengths and weaknesses. And it was good for us to play in a big field on the grass and um, you know to get two wins on our belt. That's important going into our first game on Friday. The game? Um, you know, it was a good game. I think that in the very beginning, um, it took a little bit for them to kind of get their rhythm, but once they did, it was kind of a back and forth battle. Um, we missed a couple of breakaways that I know we'll probably yeah. be working on next week. Yeah. Um, but besides that, you know, it was a really, really tight game, and it was fun to play, and um, people flying everywhere, caliber players. So I love um, playing a tough game like that. Okay. I know, right? You're welcome. Bye bye.